friends, it's James and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is part 8 in creating a Discord bot in Python. In this video we're going to be creating some commands where we can kick users and where we can ban users. And this can be useful in many cases. Just before we jump into doing this, I just want to quickly say that I've got a Discord server. So if you've got any problems when building your bot, feel free to join that and ask away. We'd be happy to help. But anyway, let's jump straight in. So then, the first thing that you need to do is at the very top of your file in the imports, you need to add this line. You need to add from discord.ext.commands import has underscore permissions and then missing permissions. Pause the video here so you can copy this, but make sure you have this line. Also, you wanna have the line above from Discord import member. Make sure you have both of these lines in your import at the top of your file. So yeah, pause the video here so you can copy them and then resume it when you copied. So then, we can now start actually creating our kick and our ban command. So then, the first thing that we want to do after we've imported those things at the top of our file is we want to create a new command. So we do this by typing what we've done in the previous video, at client.command, open and close brackets. Remember, client is whatever you like initiated your bot with. So some people call it bot. In our case, we called it client or whatever you called it. And now we're going to type something new, something I've never typed on this series. And what we're going to type is at has underscore permissions, open and close brackets, kick underscore members is equal to true. And now let me quickly explain what this is doing. This is referring to the package that we installed at the top of our file. And what it's essentially saying is, is it's checking to make sure that whoever the user who's running the bot command has the right permissions to be able to kick members. So for example, let's say a random user joined your Discord server, they wouldn't be able to kick people because they wouldn't have permissions to um, kick people. Basically what it does, it only allows people who you let to kick people basically. And now we want to come down and we want to type async def kick open and close brackets. So like we've done previously in past episodes. And then we want to type ctx comma member. Oops, I can't spell. I can't spell again. Colon space discord dot member asterisk. I'll explain all this in a second. Reason is equal to none and then another colon. Now let me quickly explain. So we're first setting up our function like we've done in previous episodes. Then we're importing CTX. If you don't know what that is, go back and watch some of my past episodes. They'll explain what that does. We're then passing in this member object. And then essentially what this is doing is when we get to actually running our command in Discord itself, we'll be passing in the user, the user that we want to kick or ban. And this is exactly what this does. It essentially just takes the user that we've inputted and put it and puts it into a member object. I hope that makes sense. And this reason here is the reason in why you are kicking or banning them. I hope that makes sense in what I've explained. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to type await member dot kick open and close brackets reason is equal to reason. And then we're going to come down and type await ctx dot send open and close brackets f and then um, single speech marks user squiggly brackets member i'll explain all of this in a second if you don't understand um, has been kicked there we go so what this is essentially doing is is we're we're first kicking the member of course because that's the main function of this function so we're kicking it and we're passing in the reason in why we are kicking it. Oh, by the way, the reason in why I've said none here is because in this example, what I'm doing is I'm not actually a I'm not actually given giving a reason in why we're kicking that bot. You could theoretically pass it in when you're typing in your command in Discord. So you can set it up so it gets passed into this reason function, um, reason object, and then you get it passed into here. I hope it makes sense. So essentially, I'm not doing it. But you could get it so you could specify the reason in why you are kicking them when you're typing the command into Discord. I hope that makes sense in what I've just explained. And then this last line here, what we're doing is we're just sending a message in the server saying that we've kicked them. And I realize I spelt send wrong. There we go. 
And just if you don't know, this is an F string. And this essentially allows us to pass um, variables into Python strings. Or, well, not Python strings, into strings. And now, just before we run it, we want to create an error um, catcher, if that makes sense. So what we want to, and I'll explain what that will do in a second. But let's first write the code and then I can explain. So we want to type at kick dot error, then async def kick underscore error, open and close bracket ctx comma error, colon, and then if is instance open and close brackets i spelt that wrong it should be like that there we go if is instance error comma space commands dot missing permissions colon await ctx dot send you don't have permission to kick people. Now let me explain what this is doing. So we're creating a error catcher, if that makes sense. And we're telling it to look for this kick um, function, this command. And if it produces any errors, then to run this code. And the errors that could be produced from this is to do with this has underscore permissions. So if a user who doesn't have permissions to kick people runs this command, this error will be called because it's being errored out because that user who's trying to run the Discord, the Discord bot command doesn't have permissions. So we're saying if the error is occurring, then to send a message in the Discord chat saying that you don't have permission to kick people. I hope that makes sense. And, well, just before we run it, we might as well create our ban um, command. So to do this, it's very simple. What we could do is we can literally just copy this and come down here and then paste it. And then we can come here and rename this kick to ban. And we need to change this has permission to ban underscore members. And again, equals to true. And then we want to come down here and on this member.kick, we want to rename the kick to ban. And then we can just change our string to make it match what we're saying. So instead of the user has been kicked, we can say the user has been banned. I cannot spell today, apologies. And then again, we want to come down and create a error catcher for this ban. So we can rename kick to ban and then kick error here to ban. I cannot spell, sorry, ban underscore error. And then you don't have permissions to ban people. There we go. We have now just created a ban and kick um, command for our Discord bot, as well as an error catcher, which is pretty cool. So let's run it and let's see it in action. So our bot's online. So let's run our kick command first. So to do this, we type our kick first, uh, the name of the function, which was kick. So kick. And then we want to specify the user. And to do this, we type at and then the name of the user that we want to kick. So in my case, I'm going to kick my test account. So we do this. And if we click enter, hopefully it should kick it. And look at that. It has kicked it. It successfully kicked my test account. So there we go. We set it up to be able to kick users. So now let's test banning users. So I'll get my test account to rejoin. So my test account has rejoined. And well, the bot tried to give it a joke, but apparently failed. Oh, well, we can ignore that. Anyway, so let's try and ban it. So the same thing again, we want to run our ban command. So ban and then we want to specify the user so i'm a test account and then enter there we go we've successfully banned it and if we go to the banned list on our server it should hopefully be there and it is look i'm a test account it's in our banned list we've successfully banned people via our discord bot which is very cool and to show you, I'm currently logged in on my test account. And to show you that, for example, this test account has no permissions at all on this test server I'm on. So just to show you that anyone can't just run this command, let's try and kick my other account. So let's run that command and let's kick me instead. And let's try that. And see, look, you don't have permission to kick people. 
So we've successfully set it up so you can't kick people if you don't have permissions. And if you do have permissions, you can ban and kick people, which I think is really cool. But anyway, that now brings us to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and that you've learned something from this. If you have, please do consider smashing the like button and please do consider subscribing as well. But anyway, I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya!